Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. My wife's friend accused Maine of wanting more than friendship. Now she's trying to ruin our marriage. My wife Emily has this longtime friend Leslie, who's recently become a single mom. Leslie's been struggling no car, working two jobs, and just trying to hold it all together. Emily, being the kind-hearted person she is, took it upon herself to help Leslie out. And since Emily started helping, I've been roped into it too, driving Leslie and her kids around, taking them to school, appointments, groceries basically filling in when Emily or others couldn't. At first, I didn't mind. It made my wife happy, and I get it Leslie's going through a tough time. But things have escalated. Now Emily's inviting Leslie and her kids over all the time, planning trips like camping and fishing, and when Emily can't make it, I'm the one left to entertain Leslie and her kids solo. I thought it was no big deal. I've known Leslie as long as I've known Emily, so whatever, right? Well, fast forward to last weekend. Leslie's kids were staying with their dad, so Emily thought it would be nice to have Leslie over for a chill night with dinner and movies. Emily was busy, so she asked me to text Leslie the invite. I shot her a message saying, Emily wants to know if you'd like to come over for dinner and movies on Saturday and then, Leslie hits me back with, just as friends, right? I'm not interested in being anyone's girlfriend. Now, I'm floored, like what? Where did that even come from? I asked her why she'd say that, and she replies something along the lines of, no guy would be helping me out unless he wanted something in return. I was shook. I immediately showed the text to Emily and told her I was done helping Leslie out. I didn't want to be put in any situation that could lead to more weird accusations like that. Emily believed me but wanted to talk to Leslie to get to the bottom of it. Leslie told her the same thing she told me that she was just having a bad day and her emotions were all over the place. Fine, but I'm still not cool with being involved anymore. I told Emily to leave me out of any future plans involving Leslie. I mean, it only takes one bad day for things to get messy again, and I don't want any part of that. Emily thinks I'm overreacting and that I should just let it go since it was, according to her, a simple miscommunication. But I'm not down with risking another awkward or accusatory situation just because Leslie was having an off day. I didn't even get an apology directly from her just one to Emily. To be honest, I don't think I'm in the wrong here. I was just helping out like Emily asked, and now I'm being cautious to avoid any more uncomfortable misunderstandings. But Emily's not happy that I've drawn a line in the sand. So Ada for refusing to help anymore after this whole weird situation? Emily and I had a long talk. I brought up both my feelings and some of the points you all made about how this situation could have been weird from Leslie's side, too. I showed Emily my post and explained why I felt uneasy enough to step back. Eventually, Emily got it. She agreed to talk to Leslie again to see if Emily's absence from a few events made Leslie uncomfortable, or if there was something else going on. We also discussed whether we've been overhelping. Emily admitted she might be doing too much, but she still wanted to help Leslie because that level of support was normal between them. However, Emily agreed to stop asking me for help when she couldn't be there. Instead, she planned to talk to Leslie about getting more support from the kid's father now that her ex-fiancé was out of the picture. After a couple of weeks, things took a turn. There were a few times when neither Emily nor Leslie's other friends could give her a ride, and Leslie started asking Emily where I was and why I wasn't helping. Emily stuck to the plan and explained that I was stepping back to avoid any future misunderstandings. But then Leslie started suggesting that if I didn't have ulterior motives I wouldn't be avoiding her. She even told Emily that my behavior was proof I must have wanted something more from her. From there it spiraled. Leslie told Emily that I acted the same way when Emily and I first got together helping her out, being super involved, and that's how she knew I had feelings for Emily. She warned Emily that I would leave her just like Leslie's ex left her. That was the final straw for Emily. She told Leslie that, until she seeks counseling to deal with her breakup, and stops projecting her negative outlook on our relationship, their friendship would be on hold. Emily's been having a tough time with it, and I've been doing my best to support her. But we've minimized contact with Leslie, and things are a lot less stressful on our end. Comment info how long have you and your wife been acting as Leslie's chauffeurs and doing everything for her? What is Leslie's plan to get her own life back together? Op reply it's been about four months. Leslie is trying to save up to get a new used car or her current one fixed as well as looking for a cheaper place to live. Info does she have trauma in her background? This sounds more like someone who has learned people give nothing for free and has been betrayed or hurt in the past. No idea. NTA but only because Leslie didn't apologize. And I don't think you're in the wrong for not helping her anymore. This is kind of a weird situation. 
Like if my friend asks me to go fishing with me and my kids, then sends her boyfriend slash fiance slash husband in her place. That's pretty weird. If it was just an errand, that's one thing, but a whole ass fun trip is super weird. I would just cancel the plans at that point. Also, was this fishing and camping trip just you, Leslie and her kids, or were there others involved? So I can actually kind of get Leslie's side because this time, you directly texted her from your phone right. When your wife sets up these errands slash play dates, I'm guessing she initially says it'll be her. Then shit might come up and so maybe half the time, she then tells Leslie that you're coming. So a direct text to Leslie from you asking to come over for movies kinda does feel pretty off. Also you say paraphrase here. No guy would be asking me and my kids how we're doing or helping me out unless he wanted something in return. But I'm curious what exactly the text messages say. Op reply my wife made the camping trip. One of the fishing trips when my wife couldn't make it and we knew ahead of time, we discussed canceling. She discussed it with Leslie and they both decided to go ahead with it. The other time my wife organized us all going to do something together. She was with us for about an hour before she had to leave. I did directly text her from my phone, which I've had to do before. My text read, Emily wants to know if you'd like to come over for dinner and watch some movies on Saturday. I don't know about 100% of the time, but I have heard my wife tell Leslie she'd be sending me in her stead on a number of occasions, so it's not as if Leslie didn't have heads up. Info NTA. Did she apologize to you in addition to Emily? That's what kind of sets it off. She can have an off day and feel like maybe everyone has an ulterior motive and get snappy, but like she needs to apologize to the person she hurt, i.e. you. If you're worried she's going to like, make a move on you and she's done more than this comment that's different too. No, she did not apologize to me. Only to Emily. NTA. I think there is more of a miscommunication between your wife and her friend. When your wife cannot drive or entertain her friend, does she let her friend know you are taking her place or that she volunteered you herself? Or do you just show up? The friend might be confused in this situation. While I understand the single mother's frustration, she needs to figure this out for herself. She cannot nor should she depend on everyone else forever. Also, where are the kid's father in helping in their appointments? I don't know about each and every time, but I have been witness to my wife giving Leslie a heads up I would be showing up instead. Such as one outing Emily planned, I suggested canceling when Emily's schedule changed but after Emily and Leslie discussed it they decided to go on ahead without Emily because Leslie's kids were looking forward to it. NTA. But forgive her and move on. People get silly notions and she's recently been abandoned, right? You've been very nice and she didn't understand that your wife was directing it. I'm sure she's embarrassed enough, so it would be nice to accept her apology and not withhold your help. Op reply she knew my wife was directing it and she did not apologize to me. Thanks for watching till the end, wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share, I'd love to hear from you.